Good afternoon. I am the speaker of this lecture. First of all, thank you very much for your coming, and I hope you can get the knowledge you want in the next half an hour. My name is Zhang Chengwei. I often go by the nickname Cherry Jun in various open source communities. The Apache API 6 is my first open source project in the cloud native area, from which I have learned much about cloud native architecture. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to share my experience with you at ApacheCon Asia. This talk is intended for a group of people interested in cloud native. So this talk is about the evolution of contemporary application architecture deployment method from the initial monolithic application to microservice architecture and the cloud native architecture. The presentation is suitable for most GK users. It incorporates many easy to understand metaphors and life hands on examples to take you through cloud native architecture and how it affects our lives. Of course, some precise definitional statements are quoted in the presentation for sake of record. So if you need to take notes, please pay attention to them in this section. A friendly reminder, this slide does not summarize all my ideas in this short 14 minutes. I suggest you listen to me carefully. In summary, I'm confident that this will be an exciting journey. So let's go. As described in the slide, uh, this talk will focus on three perspectives. The first part, the what part, I will talk about the evolution of architecture. Of course, I will give some definitions of concepts like API and uh, cloud native. If you want to take notes, this is the best time, I think. In the second part, the why part, I will talk about why we need a cloud native architecture. And I will take you through a live demo of how to deploy a project to get a realistic view of cloud native. In the third part, the how part, I will talk about the following architecture traits in my eyes. That's all. So let's start with the talk's first part. What is the API and what is the cloud native? First, the trigger we belong to is API Microsoft. So here are the definitions of API and the Microsoft. Let's check it out on Wiki first. API is equal to an application programming interface and it is a way for two or more computer programs to communicate with each other. Yes, this is a typical definition of computer abstraction interface, communication method and blah blah something like this, uh, which I believe is well understood by students with a strong computer foundation. Okay, just a storm where you can get everything you want. Yes, and think of APIs as the stones in our lives where you pay money to the stone and the stone gives you what you want. To transform this concept to uh, computer size, it's like I give the computer some data, yes, some money. And then the computer gives me some data, yes, the goods I want, of course, that's all. So what is cloud native? First, let's look at the definition from cloud native computing foundation. Oh, it's too long. I will simplify it to say, cloud native is an idea of deployment that means building and running some applications using cloud native representative technologies. Cloud native technologies are composed of such as containers, uh, server mesh, Microservice, uh, immutable infrastructure, and uh, declarative API. These applications will eventually be deployed on some cloud servers, and because of some orchestration technologies like Kubernetes, we can implement automated scaling capabilities. The result is automated and sustainable delivery to meet the repeatedly 
challenge needs of the enterprise business. So, cognitive architecture, we can think of it as a supervision, supervision of microservice architecture. Let's look at the next slide, which is my personal view. Cloud Native bring development back to its orange form. I believe that the goal of Cloud Native is to transform the non-functional requirements of development projects to the cloud platform so that developers only need to focus on the business and only achieve the goal of business logic. With Cloud Native, technology is a process of bringing development um, back to its roots. So developers only need to focus on the essential issues in software development. That is the end of the brief introduction. Let's move on to the practical session. In this second part of where we need this session, I will go through a hands-on walkthrough of the experimental session. In all the previous sessions, I have constructed a basic understanding of cloud native from conceptual level. Then I will introduce you to the benefits of cloud native and where we need it from an architectural perspective. As we know, a decade ago, a monolithic application architecture, uh, we call it monolithic application, uh, such as uh, was mainstreamed with the general uh, deployment idea of uh, several with one service and the database, the client access to the service, and uh, the service requested to the database. But unlike most people who think it is obsolete and full of drawbacks, I personally think it still has its value in the scenario where it exists. Here is a picture that shows that productivity changes with increasing complexity, and it's only after a point of complexity that the benefits of microservice outwin those of monolithic applications. In fact, that's true. Uh, as a simple example, a monolithic uh, application would be the most appropriate choice when our application needs to get quick feedback from customers for repeat interaction. The monolithic uh, application will be a single monolithic from the to complete the code flow from the user uh, interface to data access. This means that a monolithic application architecture is a good choice for companies with relatively relatively uh, simple survives. Let's get back to today's topic. Cloud native architecture for systems. First, I think the core of cloud native architecture is microservice architecture. As I explained before, we can simplify understand the cloud native architecture as the microservice architecture or cloud service if we don't consider cloud native features. Here is a simple example to show what a microservice on the cloud. Well, I just deployed my personal website on a cloud server already. It's a simple cloud native architecture because we used Docker to deploy our website. And as you can see, it's easy and faster to deploy this way. On the next stage, we will enter the cloud native world. I will apply a cloud native API gateway to build a slightly more complex cloud native architecture system. We can get a natural feel for what cloud native is all about. So before I deploy it, let me briefly introduce what API 6 is and what a cloud native gateway is. Nginx is a very famous gateway open source product. API 6 is a cloud native gateway that uses a cloud native database called uh, ATCD and integrated cloud native applications, including but not limited to uh, Skywalking. With the API 6 cloud native gateway, we can freely use various cloud native products which will enrich our system. In a nutshell, Apache API 6 is a dynamic, uh, dynamic uh, 
uh, real-time high-performance open source API gateways that uh, provide rich traffic management um, features such as uh, uh, load balancing, uh, dynamic upstream, uh, and more. Long, long story short, with API 6, you can manage both north source traffic from the client to the server and the east west traffic from the individual enterprise uh, micro service like this. Okay, let's begin deploying my personal website uh, with the API 6 and make my project become real uh, cloud native architecture. This is the architecture of my personal website's deployment methods. And let's back to our uh, cloud servers. Uh, let's imagine that my personal web, web project is a large one uh, with multiple uh, server spec ends. For example, over here, I deploy API 6 locally and pro proxy it to an um, upstream cloud server. The server that actually provides the servers is the upstream. Upstream cloud server with the point 18, 18, 1, 82, and 83. Okay. Back to the local machine. First, I should clone the API 6 Docker project from the GitHub. Back it. And uh, CD Let's see the Docker Compose YAML files You can see uh, Let's back to our Architecture. As you see, I export I export the 18 for Apache 6. So I must modify the prompt from nine zero eight nine zero to eight zero and ready. Ready, go. It's where I spend much time. So let's back to our cloud server. Say our server is right. Oh, 18 is right. 81 is right too. 88 is right too. 83. It's also Y2. Okay. Let's wait for minutes.
Okay, that's all. Nice. As you can see, as you see, there is a error message. For zero for root not find. So let's configure it. First, I must log in. Hey, okay. why? Okay. And uh, first, I must create upstream. Uh, say it uh, website upstream and uh, add a node for it. Uh, where is node? It's this 190, 198 and uh, okay, that's all. That create okay, and then I must create a root and uh, say website upstream and next. Oh, we can see many plugins here. Uh, let's check the upper observability. You can see click house, their dog, uh, cooking, Google Cloud Login, Kafka, and the Prometheus, Skywalking, Skywalking. So we we also can use them and um, enrich our system. Today I just uh, simply deploy my website okay let's uh, refresh it that work and uh, if you can see the log you will see send more request and you will see the server from the 18 3 18 18 1 18 Okay, so that is the dynamic upstream. Um, this is that's all my uh, one two demo. This is all demo. Okay, I'm finished it. Okay, my website deployment architecture is showing in the figure. Uh, I have just deployed my website according to these architectures and uh, use the Cloud Native API Gateway, uh, the Apache API 6, uh, to deploy our personal website. I think you will uh, know the benefits of the Cloud Native architecture. Uh, so, how will it develop? The future trade of building applications is inevitable based on microservice architecture to build cloud native applications. As deployed on my website, cloud native applications complement each other and eventually form a robust ecosystem. It becomes an exceptionally powerful system, enough to cope with all kinds of uh, business scenarios 
I think. Okay, time goes so fast. Uh, thanks for listening, and feel free to contact me by email if you have question. Uh, as well as visiting my personal website and uh, GitHub. I also welcome all technical uh, exchanges. And finally, thanks from the bottom of my heart to Apache for the uh, opportunity. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Uh, best wish. Goodbye.